Hands on my feet, keep my sight for the fleet like, 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 uh, basically, today's gonna be story time. I got a story for y'all. I got some shoes that I picked up while I was on a trip in Austin. Um, super cool, super happy to have these in my collection. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. First, I want to say make sure y'all hit that subscribe button down below, turn on the bell notifications. That lets you know whenever I post a video. That way, you never miss a video again. And smash that thumbs up button if you like the content. Another thing I do want to mention is thank you for everybody doing the Cash App donations. I'll post an image of that down below and I'll post it in the link as, or the link in the description as well. Um, that Those donations help the channel grow, helps me to buy more shoes and things like that to have more content for y'all for these videos. So without further ado, I'll get into showing y'all the shoes that I picked up. Now, at first glance, you might think Oh, hey, he got the white cements, but take a closer look. You see that swoosh on the side? The Nike branding on the inside. So yeah, these are the Justin Timberlake or JTH Jordan 3s. Um, these shoes right here, you may have seen on the, uh, what was it? I think it was a few Super Bowls ago, back in like 2018, uh, Justin Timberlake hit the stage and he was wearing, at first, I thought it was like, okay, he's wearing the white cement threes, but then I saw the Nike swoosh and I'm like, that's a different shoe. Well, come to find out, it was this pair right here. Um, that swoosh is like reflective, I think. And then you got your Nike Air branding in here. On the tongue, you got your actually okay so you got your tinker hatfield uh signature on the inside i thought it was going to be on both because i actually do have a pair of the tinker threes and they have tinker hatfield signature on both inside both insides of the tongue this one here looks like it might have i think this is like justin timberlake signature on the inside so that's a pretty neat uh pretty cool thing right there i didn't know that on the inside, of course, you got your uh, Tinker Hatfield signature and like the silhouette of the Jordan 3. So hopefully that's picking that up. Yeah. Um, so yeah, this shoe right here, um, I was never really, well, I did like shoes, but um, after watching that Super Bowl, after watching that Super Bowl halftime show, I looked more into it and I realized that the shoes actually actually released uh, during that performance. They had a shock drop on the sneakers app and I went back. I think I was standing in line. What was it? I was standing in line at a concert a few days later and I saw it on the sneakers app. And I said, man, how much are these shoes going for? So I looked into it and I saw they were going for a crazy amount. I think some places had them like at $800 around there. Some crazy amount. I don't remember exactly. But um, I started looking at other YouTube videos and uh, just doing my research and seeing that, okay, people are making money reselling shoes. So I'm like, let me try and uh, see what I can do and so yeah, so long story short, I started reselling. The first Jordan that I bought to resell was a Jordan 3 Black Cement. And um, it's crazy because I actually worked at a finish line store back in like 2011. And that same shoe was coming out when I first started working there. So it's like fast forward years later and here we are again. And um, so yeah, that that was actually pretty cool because I went to the yeah I went to the mall, bought a couple pairs, flipped a couple really fast, and uh, made some money. And I was like, okay, I can start making money doing this. So 
I started flipping shoes. And then, of course, doing my research, learning about shoes, um, the shoe bug bit me. So, um, I mean, I don't know how else to say it. But, yeah, so I started collecting shoes as well. And um, it's been pretty fun ever since. A lot of great stories, a lot of great friendship, friendships came out of it. And this shoe right here is the first shoe that started it all for me. And um, it had me, it, it piqued my interest in the shoe game. So to have this shoe in the collection, I'm pretty happy about that. And I actually do still have my pair of Black Cement 3s. And I'm pretty happy to have that pair too. Because that's the first shoe that I bought. They got me started in the sneaker reselling, I guess you could say. But yeah, so I took a trip with my fiance to Austin. It was our anniversary weekend. And I hear they got a store up there called the Shoe Exchange. So we went, we checked it out, and they had a very good selection inside. And there was a guy in there. I can't remember his name. Give me a second. I'll get that name for you. Ten seconds later. So yeah, there was a guy in the store. His name was Joe. He helped us out. Um, I think there was a game playing on TV. I think it was like the Ravens and um, shit, I forgot who they were playing. It was just on too. But um, yeah, so a few of the workers were uh, watching the game. It was actually snowing outside. There was a crazy snowstorm. And so um, the streets were pretty dead, but we stopped by, checked it out. And I saw these shoes and in my size. So I was pretty happy about that. And they were actually selling for 400, but let me, Put that tag in front of the camera so y'all can see yeah so they were actually um yeah so they were actually selling for 400 but um i was talking to joe and they went ahead and discounted it for me brought it down to like 350 um, because it didn't have a box which i'm not wasn't too happy about that i do like to keep the original boxes with my shoes but as many uh, sneakerheads would tell you, you wear the shoes, not the box. So it's true. Um, I can't wait to wear these. So regardless, I'm still happy to have them in my collection. And um, that was a pretty good price. I mean, if you look on StockX, brand new pairs, they're going for, uh, I want to say like 450 to 500 maybe more. I'll post that up on the... Um, I'll post an image of that up on the screen for y'all. But yeah, this pair, um, they say was only worn once. And I mean, looking at the bottom, it is clean. Um, so the guys were, the guys there were super helpful. Um, the experience for that store, I mean, it was pretty good. I've been into other uh, resale shops and haven't been too happy. So I just don't like them that much. But stopping into this store, everybody was super friendly, super helpful. And the store was very organized. So shout out to the Shoe Exchange in Austin. Make sure y'all check them out. And thank you for listening to my story on how I got into shoes. <laughs> Basically, I didn't know it was going to turn into this whole story, but we had a good time. And I'm happy to have these pairs in the collection. So if you enjoyed the story, make sure you smash that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Uh, do you have this pair in your collection? Do you plan on getting this pair? Uh, it's a classic. I mean, it looks just like the white cement, white cement threes. Um, but of course, you got that Nike swoosh on the side like Tinker Hatfield designed it. But I guess later on, he took the swoosh off. I don't know the whole story, but I believe that's it. But um, other than that, that's all I have for you today. So peace.